Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Tiffany. Today's video is the long awaited for what we got our children for Christmas. So stay tuned for that. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. If you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Tiffany. My husband and I have two children. Jackson is nine and Alice is seven and a half. So today I'm gonna to share with you what we got them for Christmas and I will be the first to say that we went a tiny bit overboard, at least for us. In the past years, we've done the five gift rule. We usually do something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read, and then a surprise gift that is usually just something that I just really wanna get them. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit longer, so I'm gonna jump right in and share with you. The budget that we set, I try to keep the amount of gifts and the cost that we spend somewhat even, which drives my husband bonkers. Um, but they're still, at the, they're so close in age that I feel like I should try to keep it even. Now Jackson, our nine year old, he hasn't played with toys in years. He is very much into video games, um, electronics, and so he's already very difficult to shop for. So that was fun. But I'm gonna start with Alice, our seven and a half year old. She is super easy to shop for. She loves everything. Um, you can pretty much go down any toy aisle and find multiple items for her. So she was no big deal. The first two items I'm going to share with you are things that Jackson actually picked out for her. Each year we allow the kids to spend anywhere from like $30 to $40 that we pay for, but they pick items out for each other. So the first item he picked was this little uh, red, I think it's a red fox, red, that ain't a fox. Red Panda, says right there. This is a mud puppy puzzle and I ran across this brand while searching because she really wanted puzzles and their, their things are just super, super cute. So um, he picked out this little puzzle for her. It has 48 pieces. Um, she'll be really excited about that. But not as excited as she will probably be about this. So this is one of the new LOL OMG Remix dolls. Um, he was very excited to be able to pick that out for her. And most of the stuff I got on Amazon, I'm gonna leave links down below so you can see um, the items that we got. So those are the two things that she got from her brother. On the topic of puzzles, we did choose three puzzles for her as well. We are a homeschooling family, so things that can double as like entertainment and like educational homeschool stuff are a win in my book. So again, along the Mud Puppy brand line, I got this glow-in-the-dark insect puzzle. This has 100 pieces, um, so she should still be able to do it on her own, or her and Jackson can work on it together, or even, you know, something with the family. But you can see on the back, very vivid colors. Very, very cool. And another one, this is the Mud Puppy Fairies Glow in the Dark puzzle. Lately, she has really been, like, talking about how much she loves Paris and France, and I'm pretty sure she doesn't really know much about it in general. Um, except that she sees it on like clothing items and stuff. But this Janod, J-A-N-O-D, I think is how you pronounce that. This is a 200 piece puzzle of Paris. So hopefully you can kind of see that. Hopefully it focused. I was behind it so I couldn't tell. Um, but it comes in this cute little like suitcase carrying box. This one is definitely one that we will do together either as a family or as a group of more than just her probably with it being 200 pieces but i thought she would be super excited because it does have the eiffel tower and that's what she talks about for the past i don't know two years she's been asking for a bean bag we almost got her one last year and i just decided against it because bean bags are really not that cheap um but she made mention that she wanted one of the ones that you can stuff with like stuffed animals and blankets which is perfect because she has a ton of stuffed animals so I'm not going to take it out of the wrapper, but this is the stuffed animal storage bag um, by Wee Capo. Wee Capo? Wee something. Um, this one had really great ratings on Amazon. It is the pink and white striped one. And you'll see when we get to Jackson's Toys, he also got one as well. Next is this Melissa and Doug mosaic sticker pad. It's got the nature pictures. Um, you can see some of the, there's a glare, but just some of the designs there. I thought that would be fun for like an art project um, either during homeschool or she is our crafty child. She loves anything crafty. If it has to do with crafts of any sort, she's all over it. So she will have no problem whatsoever utilizing that. I always try to get them books. Even when we used to do the five gift rule, we always had books as one of the categories. And as you can imagine, being a homeschool family, 
books are pretty important. We utilize the library a lot, but sometimes it's just nice to have like your own books that you can, you know, read and reread as much as you want. Amazon does their buy two get one free on books and games um, around Black Friday and through the holiday season. In fact, I think it might still be going on. It was the last time I checked. So I got her the Candy Fairies books one through four. Um, it's got those four in it. And this is a collection that one of her little friends was talking about and so she's familiar with it and she really wanted it. So that's her box set that we got. And then next we did some graphic novels. Both kids really like graphic novels. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to find um, age appropriate ones. So I'm, um, I tried to pick some that seemed like they were age appropriate. First one is called Primer. The cover caught my eye to begin with because it's kind of artistic. But it says artistry and superheroes collide in this new superhero story. Next is anti-heroes and this one says it's not so easy being a hero or a villain. So just a cute little, I'll be honest, I judged books by a cover with these. I think these covers will catch her eye as well. And then the last one is called Doodleville, which apparently I really went with that whole like drawing and artistry type thing. Um, Drew thinks she has life down to a fine art until she has to confront a monster of her own creation. So that sounds fun and something that Alice would probably really enjoy. All right, next item I is like a throwback to back even when I was young. Ulta had an amazing sale on caboodles. And it's not just a caboodle, but it comes filled with makeup. Now she's seven and a half, she'll be eight in May. And so obviously makeup is something that she, um, I don't let her really wear out of the house, but it is something that she enjoys. And as up until now, she's really had a lot of play makeup. But obviously this is like real Ulta branded makeup inside. And it is like, I don't want it to like fall out. Is that taped? Nope, there's a latch on the side. Be smarter than the caboodle, Tiffany. So you can see it's like full. Now this was like $16, super, super inexpensive. I thought that was a great deal, even if she trashes all the makeup. Now, not only that, when you bought this, it went, they were running a deal. Now, now I can't get the latch closed. There we go. Hopefully she can, uh, do this better than her mother can. Um, but the color, this is like one of her favorite colors, so I thought she would really like that. But when you bought this, you also got a free gift. And guess what the free gift was? A bag full of makeup. So she has a lot of makeup to play with. Um, I'm not gonna take it all out, but it's another little gift that you can, there's like lipstick and face primer and eye primer. It's all Ulta Beauty branded um, mascara, some brushes. A makeup oh cool. it's got a makeup um, remover cloth like one of the little anyway so all of that came in this really cute little like snake skin purse so she is set on makeup for a while now when we get to Jackson's big gift he gets one big gift and it's because it was $120 um, so she got two, these next two items of hers, these are her last items, they equal the same um, cost-wise. So the first one, she is obsessed with LOLs. So we got her this four-in-one plane. So this, I don't know if you've seen it, um, the Glamper is also very popular and I was this close on pulling the trigger on getting her the Glamper because it was on Lightning Deal on Amazon for Black Friday for $50 and... Um, I ran it past Will, and as I was saying it to him, I realized how foolish it sounded, so I decided not to. But she's gonna be super, super excited for this. Does it show? I don't know, you can see. It's a four-in-one sort of thing. It's a plane, a car, a recording studio, and a mixing booth, like music mixing booth. She has a ton of LOL dolls. This fits all of them, like the big ones, so like that one that she got from her brother, all the way down to obviously the smaller ones, but it fits all different sizes of LOLs, so. She's gonna be super stoked about this. And her last item, can you lift it up and over? She also really loves her dolls. I'm just gonna set this right on top and scoot over. Um, she loves her dolls, like her 18 inch dolls. She doesn't have American Girl dolls, but she has the same size of dolls. And she keeps asking for like a play kitchen. She's asking for a play kitchen for herself because she wants to play in it. And I keep telling her, honey, you're, you used to have one of those, but you're too big for that now. We have a real kitchen you can play in. But I thought it'd be really fun to get her 
dolls in Slay Kitchen. So this was from Target. This is the Sweet Kitchen. It's the OG, our generation doll brand. Um, we have some other stuff in that brand. She has a few dolls in that brand. But it comes with all sorts of stuff and like the little refrigerator, like everything opens. It has a little chalkboard on the other side. Let's see. So it looks like that when it's put together. Well, it is put together, but when it's out of the box and assembled. And it comes with dishes and food and like an oven mitt and little cupcakes. And she is absolutely going to love this. Mama is not going to love that two of her toys take up a lot of space. I'm going to clear some room and I will be right back with the boys toys all right i apologize if the camera angle changed and the lighting changed but obviously i was moving stuff all around and now i've got jackson's toys so starting with the toys that alice got for jackson uh <laughs> i put some puzzles on his wish list too because he said he wanted some as well when he was looking at the puzzles that she had on her wish list so this is a mud puppy glow in the dark just like she has but this is the superhero one so that'll be fun. We'll have all sorts of new puzzles to fill our homeschool with. These I saw on a video and I don't remember. Um, I think it was from the Waldock Way. She showed them. I don't even remember which video. They're called Plus Plus. And they're just little tiny pluses. Little tiny like almost kind of like Legos but they're all just pluses. And they connect together and this one is a dinosaur set. So they're very tiny but you build a little dinosaur. And then you can obviously have like free play out of it as well. And she thought those were super cool. I think she wants some for herself is why she did that. For his birthday, which was in the middle of December, or middle of November, my mom, so his grandma, got him some perler bead sets, like an Avenger set. And so Alice picked out to go along with that a Zelda perler bead set. So it makes some of the Zelda, like the shield and stuff like that, which my husband is obsessed with Zelda, so. I thought that was fun. Speaking of Zelda, for Jackson's books, um, I did a box set and then three individual graphic novels just like we did for Alice. Now, I'm kind of mad at myself because I didn't realize that my husband laughed at me. I got him two Zelda graphic novels. Now tell me why these are the way they are. Because they're not actually graphic novels, they're mangas. They're mangas. I didn't know the difference. I'm just, you know, on there thinking, oh, he likes Zelda, that's cool. So anyway, Mangas start at the back and you read them backwards, I guess. You read them from left to right. And you read them from right left. left to right instead of right to left. Or like backwards, right to left. You know what I mean. You read them, yeah, you read, like it opens the opposite way. Okay, so this is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Part 1. So hopefully that doesn't confuse Jackson too much and he doesn't get frustrated. These might sit on the shelf a little while if that's the case. He checked out a Pokemon book from the library that was like this and he was just like, I don't get it. But that was a while ago, so we'll see. And then Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Part 2. Isn't Ocarina of Time your favorite? No. Cool. Yeah. No, you like... Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask as well. He's sitting over here. He's going to help me wrap all this as soon as we're done. Because I'm not pulling this all out again. The last graphic novel I got for him, he's going to read this in like 20 minutes, is the Minecraft... It doesn't tell like which. Monster? Monster? No, that's who it's by. What? I don't know. It's a Minecraft one. So he will get through that super quickly, though. It doesn't have very many pages, and he reads graphic novels quickly anyway. But I thought that would be fun. For his box set, we got The Last Kids on Earth, which is now a Netflix show. I don't. I think he's watched it a little bit. My nephew watches it. So this comes with books one, two, and three. Um, so you got Last Kids on Earth, Last Kids on Earth and the Zombie Parade, and Last Kids on Earth and the Nightmare King. So got these all for a good price because of their book deal. Just like Alice, he got a mosaic sticker book mainly because I thought it'd be good for, again, art, art class during homeschool. This one is the Safari. So you've got different animals on here. Do I have a monkey? His favorite is a monkey. They don't. Oh well. Um, is that a meerkat? What is what is that? Looks like a hyena. Oh, is that a hyena? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it's got the little like mohawk. Anyway, I thought these were cool. So I got each of the kids one. And when I say I, I mean we, obviously. Um, just like Alice's beanbag, Jackson, I asked him if he wanted one. He was like, well, kind of. I could use it on my, he has the top bunk out of their bunk beds and he plays video games in their room. 
So I, he was like, I want something up there so I can kind of like lounge in it while I'm playing games. And I figured, well, we can fill this as full or as little as we want. So it doesn't have to be super full for the top bunk, but he got the gray and white striped. Also to go along in their room, his room, I didn't even think about it. I should have gotten Alice a new poster, but this was to kind of help even out the prices because I'm a weirdo like that. You can kind of see, this is a Fortnite poster. And what character is this babe? I forget. Who is that? Drift. I think. Drift, yes. Um, which Jackson really liked. So I thought that would be a cool poster. He has a poster of the Justice League, the Justice League up right now. Um, I think the reason I didn't get Alice one, the other reason is because we really like the one she has in her room, their room. She has a really pretty, like almost like a watercolor sketch of the Little Mermaid, which is still cute. So when it came to Jackson, like I said, he's not really into, I'm just gonna keep falling. He's not really into toys. So I finally sat him down, I'm like, listen, people are gonna, this was around his birthday too, and I was like, people need to know what you want. And so he's like, well, how about some games, like board games? So we created a big wish list of board games. The first board game or card game or like family game that I got is Sleeping Queens, which I know a lot of people recommended to us. Um, this is a card game for two to five players. So, uh, yeah, the Smart Play Smart Toy Award. So Sleeping Queens was the first one. Next one that came highly recommended, and I think it's by this, maybe the same comp, maybe not. Uh, yes, it is, it's by Game Right, um, is Dragonwood. And this is another card game or a dice game, a game of dice and daring. It's winner of the Mensa Award, so something that we can play together two to four players ages eight and up so that'll be something that Alice might need a little bit of help with but next is Risk Jr. so obviously a lot easier than the adult game of Risk but I thought that would be cool it comes with little like pirate ships that you fling your dice with ages five and up two to four players and then the last game, which I'm excited about, is Clue Jr. Poor little Mr. Potato Head down here. Um, so you've got, looks like some of the original players. Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, Mrs. Peacock, Mr. Green, Dr. Orchid, is that a new one? Seems like it. That, that's the only one I don't recognize. And Professor Plum, the case of the broken toy. And I'm assuming it's Mr. Potato Head that is the broken toy. So that'll be fun. Um, I did find one toy that I think he would like. He is still into Nerf guns. And this Nerf gun set, ugh, very big. Got this from Target. It was really, really, really good price. Like $15 maybe during one of their toy sales. It's the Alpha Strike and it comes with all sorts of, it comes with like a little one. And like are those Targets or cones or, yeah, those are like bottle, plastic bottles that you can knock over. Um, so Nerf guns are still in his wheelhouse of toys. Now for Jackson's big gift, for his birthday, he got the new Xbox Series S. And he was super excited about that. If you didn't see the video of him opening that gift on his birthday and he burst into tears, you have to watch it. It's, it will make you cry. Um, he was so surprised and so excited. Well, he had been saving up his own money to get one of those and obviously we, we knew we were getting it for him. So now he's saving his money for either a good wireless headset or a monitor. He wants a computer monitor in lieu of a television to do his gaming on. So Will did some research. He is getting a very nice wireless headset. Um, I don't know anything about it, but my husband back here, I mean, he could give you all the specs basically we're hoping that this will keep him from ruining cables and cords and he'll take care of this one. But it is the Astro A20 wireless. It's designed for gaming like the Xbox. This is the new Gen 2. It's the new Gen 2, yes. yes. Um, definitely not Gen 1. Well, the big difference is that it has the little USB dongle and you can plug that into one device and then you can, if you want to, later on buy a separate one to plug into, like, you know, if you're using it on your Xbox and you also have a PlayStation, you can plug one into your PlayStation and it works with both. Oh, okay. Did you hear? Hopefully you heard that. If you're a gamer, that made sense to you. If you're not, it's just a very nice, this was his his big gift. This was $120. We got this at Best Buy, right? 
That's yes. I got it from Amazon. I just yeah. opened the box from Best Buy. Oh, okay. This is from Best Buy. Because we used the gift certificate, $15 on it. Mm -hmm. So that is his last gift. All right, friends, that is all of their gifts for Christmas. Um, budget wise, it was around $300 per child, which again is more than we usually spend. Um, and they had more items, but I like that a lot of them are going to double as homeschool type, like hands on things. Um, yeah. So drop a comment, share some love, watch for our stocking video coming up. I think that one's going up after this one it should be tomorrow or the next day when you're watching this. If you watch it live, you know, all like a space time continuum. Drop a comment, share some love. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh.